Hey, thanks for joining us. We're very excited today to cover a new state on Parcel Fair. We're going to talk about Texas. We've been sort of slow loading Texas over the past few months, adding counties here and there to, to learn the process and learn and find where these auctions are. And so today, this video is really just to get you up and going quickly to let you know what the opportunity is in Texas, how do the auctions work, why should you invest there, and you can compare it to other states. I think, you know, once you see the details of the auction. So uh, let's get started here. We're going to jump straight in and talk through the life cycle for these tax deeds. And we're going to start way over here on the left. I needed a lot of room for this uh, diagram. So we're going to start with a tax delinquent property. And basically what happens is it could take up to maybe five years even, but after a property's tax delinquent, eventually the tax collector issues a tax warrant which then essentially results in the property being seized by either the tax collector, sheriff, or constable, depending on the county. And one of the themes you'll hear uh, and learn in Texas is that every county is going to be a little bit different. Some of them are going to have uh, tax collectors, and, and some are going to have sheriffs or constables doing some of this work and doing the auction. So just suffice it to say that one of those three will be uh, seizing the property via warrant, but the tax collector will be issuing that warrant. And then basically that property will be scheduled for an auction and the counties hold monthly tax auctions throughout the year. It's the first Tuesday of each month, assuming that the county has some properties to sell. And you may see these called sheriff sales. You might see them called constable sales, tax deed auctions, or just tax auctions. So it uh, just depends on probably the county and, and who you're talking to. So right at this point the auction has happened and the properties that have sold those deeds enter the redemption period now that that means we're talking about redemption deeds in texas so the redemption period is interesting because for the majority of properties they're going to have a homestead exemption which really means the owner lives there that's sort of the norm in a lot of places and in those cases where they are homestead exempt there's a two-year redemption. There, Texas is slower on the redemption period because the owner's living in the actual property or house. For those properties that are not homestead exempt, there's a six-month redemption period. And so essentially, those are gonna move a lot faster. Uh, there's just not as many of them from what we've seen. So there's another route of the unsold properties. These are the unsold deeds. They did not sell at the auction. And the term in Texas that they like to use seems to be struck off. That's the most common term we've heard is that those unsold deeds are struck off and they will go to either another resale or another auction or some counties will have them as over-the-counter sales. So that's just to kind of put that in your head and remember that uh, the unsold deeds, there are other ways to buy those as well. So. I have two different outcomes here, and they're colored green because I think both of them are beneficial to you as an investor, but the, the one you may be hoping that the redemption period ends and you get the property. That's the straightforward one is that the owner no longer has any uh, redemption rights. But the alternative is that the property does redeem, which is also beneficial to you, especially in Texas, because in order to redeem their property, the owner has to pay their taxes owed plus 25% per year in penalty interest of your winning bid at the auction. So if, if you had uh, won a property at $10,000 and uh, the 25% gets assessed, you're making a $2,500 profit immediately on your $10,000. And I say immediately because that's how penalty interest works. It's not prorated over months, it's penalty. So with it, if it's a week after the auction and they redeem, you get 25%. If it's 51 weeks after the auction, almost a year, and they redeem, you still get 25%. No matter which day in between in that first year, you get 25%. <clears throat> and we'll cover it in a minute, some of the more details here, but the properties that go into a second year get really interesting. So let's uh, switch gears. Now we've talked through the life cycle diagram here. Let's move on and let's talk about these auctions at a glance and we'll uh, retread some of that ground again, but in more detail. So these auctions are, are formatted in a premium bid format. So that means 
the highest bid wins. It's not a bid down interest or anything, uh, partial interest, any of that. It is traditional premium bid format. Uh, the location is interesting. Uh, there are more in person than online in Texas, but it does seem that counties are moving online over time. Uh, I would say, let's see, there's like 254 counties in the state. I would estimate uh, less than 40 are online so far. The auction season, it just happens all year. Remember, we said a minute ago that it's the first Tuesday of each month for each county. If there are properties available to sell, they will hold the auction. Now, back to that redemption interest rate. I talked about you have 25% penalty in the first year. No matter what day the owner redeems, you get 25%. And I said things get interesting in the second year because in the second year, an additional 25% penalty interest applies. So where I come from, that's 50% interest if you make it to the second year in redemption. So uh, just to play it out, uh, let's say the auction happens, you, you win the bid, and a whole year passes by, and then the next day, we're one day into the new year after the auction, the owner redeems. They're going to have to redeem with a 50% penalty on top of what, you, uh, went, what your winning bid was at the auction. So it's a uh, very strong interest rate. We don't see interest rates this high many places, uh, especially to compound like that uh, year over year in a penalty format is very rare. So this is one of the main reasons people like investing in Texas. Uh, there's a great chance of getting the property because it's so many years delinquent. And if you don't get the property, you get a wonderful interest rate return. So that is the opportunity in Texas. That's why people are excited to invest there. So now that we've covered how all that works, let's go do a live demo and show you where to find these auctions. So we're gonna use our, our tool Parcel Fair because that's the channel that we are uh, posting this video on is all about Parcel Fair. So uh, from the home screen, parcelfair.com, you can, uh, if, you're, if you're a calendar person and you wanna see what's available, you go to the auction calendar, click that button. Let's select Texas. And what we're looking at is uh, August 6th, uh, that Tuesday, let me enlarge this a little bit for you. Uh, all of these auctions happen on that same day. So if you know, like if you know what county you want to be shopping in, you can go straight to the chase and just go to the county. But if you want to go by counties with the most properties available, this is sorted by the largest auction first. So the largest auction has 57 parcels. Not a huge auction, but remember they're doing this every month as long as they have property. So throughout the year, a county could auction off hundreds of properties. So if you want to view this in a map, just uh, click the green button right here and you can map everything or just the auction properties. If you're a list person, especially with auctions this small, you can always go for the list and just list properties from the auction like that. Now we're looking at 57 parcels and uh, I can sort by the building value if I want to see the most expensive building up top or I can um, sort by uh, the amount due is actually gonna be the opening bid I could go lowest opening bid first at uh, about eight thousand dollars so this is a the list way of doing it uh, let's switch over to the map now so this is you know what we call helicopter mode you're basically hovering over the map and uh, Jefferson County that we're talking about is this area Beaumont seems to be the biggest city it's right on the edge of Louisiana uh, and it has a uh, coast on the ocean and of course a river and lakefront it looks like over here so uh, if I want to filter these properties down I could actually go in here and do just improved properties only to see only what is uh, has structures on it um, I can there's a lot of different things. I could do a minimum value of $50,000 if I want properties that are worth more than that. Uh, one thing to point out here is if um, in the inventory box, we're looking at the deed auction right now, but there are two other buckets of properties here for this county. You could take a look at those that are pending auction that have just not been scheduled yet, and your other filters do apply, so let me take those off. So there's 70 properties that are coming up in auctions. I know a lot of you like to try to buy redemption rights from the owner or work a deal out, cash deal in advance of the auction. So this is where you would do that. Go to the pending auction and um, you can shop that way. 
And then the struck off pending auction, those are the ones that uh, survived an auction without being sold and are either gonna be scheduled to be auctioned later or there could be an over-the-counter purchase there too. So the deed auction, let's go back to that. That's uh, these 57 properties. And again, let's go to the apply improvements only and let's just go with that. So now we're, we're only seeing things with houses. And on the right side, this little film strip here, I'm just gonna click find on map on this second property so we can see where it is. Uh, I'm gonna switch over to satellite view and get a good look at it that way. And if I want to actually view the property, I'm gonna click full details. And now we're looking at the full property report, the valuations on the right here of the, uh, the breakout of what the land and the building are worth, uh, several identifiers for the county if we need those, uh, the street address right here. And uh, we see that it's currently occupied. Uh, the mail is being checked right now. Uh, so the postal service tells us it's occupied. And the purchase options uh, is probably the most important thing on this page because the auctions are all over the place. And I'm gonna show you a few different counties and where they are. This county, if I click on that upcoming auction button, it shows me that this auction, it's a sheriff sale in the jury room at this address at the courthouse, Beaumont, Texas. Uh, the taxes due, that's gonna be my opening bid. And uh, if I want to see more about this auction listing, I have uh, two links here. One is the list of all the properties, but this yellow button here, the tax sale information, if I click that, I actually see this property as it is listed uh, by the attorney that's conducting this. So you'll see that it's scheduled for auction on August 6th, just like we showed you. And uh, let's move on down the page here. A few other things that may be interesting, I mean, the location is kind of confirmed. The registration is probably the most important thing to take away here is that uh, the instructions on what you need to do and how to register for the sale are right here. Remember this sale is in person. so. Uh, that's this is going to be the only county I show you in person today just because uh, I assume a lot of you are not going to be traveling to Texas for auctions so with that being said uh, I will point out that there's a property card and a GIS map uh, county links here remember we're very new to Texas we're trying to put these up as fast as we can but in this case we do have a property card we can go view this property directly uh, on the Jefferson County site one thing I noticed about Jefferson County in particular is that the exemptions don't always show up online. So I'll show you an example in a minute where they do show up online, but remember why do we care about exemptions? Because if it is homestead exempt, there's a two year redemption. If it's not homestead exempt, it's six months. That's why you might care about redemption. I'm sorry, exemption, <laughs> they run. So exemption is important to understand if it's homestead or not, because that's gonna dictate how long the owner has to redeem. And if you're trying to get interest rate, you, you're fine with a two-year redemption on a uh, homestead property. So let's close out of uh, Jefferson. And uh, let's take a look next at Dallas County. So Dallas County, you probably know the city. Uh, there's only 30 parcels in this auction. Uh, we're looking at this deed auction right here. And out of those 30, if we want to see improvements, only seven of them actually have uh, structure. So let's, let's view that. And I can look at the properties on the right side here. I don't really need to see them in a list because I can just preview seven properties. And we'll click on, uh, let's just take this first one. And let's go to satellite and look at the roof just to kind of get a view here. Uh, you can see the property is this uh, narrow lot here on the street. And if we go full details, we're gonna get that property report. And the same consistent thing here that you're gonna see on any county, you can see uh, the numbers, the, the valuations, street address, and we see that this property is vacant. That means the postal service says nobody's checking the mail. It isn't an opportunity zone here. If you are familiar with opportunity zones, it could be uh, beneficial for your investing, especially if you have a high tax burden and are looking to move money uh, into opportunity zones out of other investments. The purchase option here is gonna be the upcoming auction, Dallas Sheriff Sale. Notice this one is online at Real Foreclosure, and if you invest in other states, like maybe Florida, Arizona, places like that, you're familiar with these similar sites that do this. I think Ohio is also a big one on Real Foreclosure. You can click the blue link to register, the yellow one to 
uh, view the tax sale information, or you can just view the auction list on that green button and see what's available in the auction. So again, if you've invested in other states on real auction, real foreclosure, any of those, this will look very familiar to you. So that is uh, Dallas County, which are available on real auction as online auctions. And let's go look at a couple other online auction places. My next one to show you is Hidalgo County. And we're gonna map those properties here. It's only nine in this sale, kind of small. And let's just click on the first one there. I uh, don't, yeah, that's a good one. It actually has a house on it. So it's a vacant house. And the thing I want to show you here is the sheriff sale. Uh, let's go to that. And this is actually online at auctionhousellc.com. But if we click on this tax information, it still takes us to the attorney listing with a link to the online auction site there. So everything you need is, is basically comes off of this yellow link. We can go view the property at the uh, auction listing and go view the actual auction on the auction website, which is called Auction House. So that's one of your online options uh, if you want to uh, not have to travel to Texas. And then one more county for you. Let's go look at Grayson County. This one's going to be very familiar uh, if you invest in other states because they use a pretty popular auction site called Govies. Let's, let's, um, let's go to this one. We're gonna view this uh, little land only three acre property and basically it's the same thing we've been showing you but in this case uh, let's take a look at the purchase option which takes us to the govease.com location for the auction it's on august august 6 1 p.m govease.com we can register uh, view the auctions or actually just go straight to the list in grayson if we want to do that and uh, so Govies has great videos and instructions, live help right here to help you get registered, help you bid. And the great thing about these online auctions is most of them let you bid in advance. So you don't have to actually um, be stressed out in the moment and uh, show up at an auction. You're, you're behind your keyboard or you maybe you just set it up for autopilot. So that's a quick sample of the counties in Texas that we've been uh, learning and researching, uh, how to get to some of those online auctions and then again, the in-person auctions, there's quite a few of those. And uh, one thing I'll tell you, you can actually go look at September now, there's already uh, six auctions announced early for next month that aren't even um, here yet, and more will be added. As these auctions get announced, you'll see September populate and fill out much like August did. So I hope this was helpful for you to understand the opportunity in Texas, why do people recommend it, what's so great about investing in Texas, and if you're an online investor, how to do some of those online auctions. And if you're uh, able to go in person, I highly recommend it because a lot of times the in-person auctions have less competition. You may get better deals in person if you can travel or if you live there. Uh, it could be very beneficial to you. So again, hope this video was helpful. Uh, please subscribe to our channel and like the video if you want to help us out. And if you want to see more content like this, talking you through markets and giving you tax investing news, uh, we'd uh, love to have discussions with you. So engage us on the comments board, uh, reach out, contact us on our website. And if you haven't tried Parcel Fair, uh, it's seven day free trial, nothing to lose. We don't even require a credit card. You just sign up, get the seven day free trial, no credit card required. And if you don't like it, we'll leave you alone. You'll never hear from us again. But uh, yeah, give us a sh give us a shout if you have questions. Try our product, and uh, let's let's talk about your experience in Texas as you're uh, investing there.